What's good? What's scrubby? What's great? great? It's scrubby finger girls. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the new episode of Grubby Finger Girls. You're here with Zara and Mary. <laughs> episode five. Wow. And this episode's all about book reviews. So we're going to review some books. Yeah, um, Mary. Yes. Just to amuse me. Yes. <laughs> can you do an old man voice? <laughs> I come here on this day to record a podcast <laughs> and I get so attacked. Okay. I'm an old man. <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> I like to complain about the Labour government. That was perfect. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks. Um, also, <laughs> yeah. Describe what you're wearing. <laughs> I'm wearing my work top, black, with the logo of my work on it, and my work pants. Ooh, pants. <laughs> yeah, I am wearing pants. It's all right though. I'm doing okay. That's good. Yeah. All right. So we're just sitting here with a pug and a big pug. Wait, no, the big pug's in the other room. He's living his best life. Mary, new dog. His name's Ollie. He's got a blinky eye. He's so cute. I call him a pug. In fact, he's quite a massive dog. But all dogs to me are pugs. Um, he's a black lab crossed with maybe a new foundling. They're not really sure. He's just gigantic and got fluffy ears. So what's been happening in your life, Mary? Um, not a lot. That I can remember to talk about. I have something that oh, oh yes, a topic yes. for you. Go. Okay, okay, go. So you're going to America. I am. I'm going to America in May. I'm very excited. I'm going to Colorado. I'm going to Salt Lake City, Ooh. the saltiest lake of all the lakes. Ooh, that's where the Normans live. Yeah, we're going to the temple. We're not allowed in because we're not Mormons. Ah. How do they know though? Do you have a Mormon passport? No. You could pass as a Mormon. Yeah, I reckon. We'll just sneak in and have a look. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it should be quite fun. Right. Going to LA, going to Disneyland. Oh, that's so jealous. <laughs> so jealous. Zara, um, uh, where are you going on Sunday? I'm also going to America. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii, actually. That's fun. Um, I... So one of my goals in Hawaii is to climb this, it's called the Stairway to Heaven, the high oh. stairs. Oh. <laughs> and it's just one of those things in life, you don't have to do it, but I need to do it, you know? Yeah. And <laughs> um, if I don't do it, I think I'll just feel so much regret. <laughs> and um, who are you doing it with? So I found someone online. Oh my gosh, Sarah. Mum and Dad and Scotty won't do it. Yeah, exactly. So... I have to find someone online, and I I just found somebody. They're really nice. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. So I'm going to meet up, and we're going to do it together. And if I didn't tell you already, it's an illegal hike (laughs) (laughs) up a mountain. We have to pass a security guard by walking through the jungle, then extending up 4,000 stairs up a mountain in which you reach the top. Zara, historically... You meeting people offline doesn't go extremely well. No. Mary uh, witnessed it today. (laughs) (laughs) I have been, in fact, witness to you not having the best online meeting situations. Can you tell um, the lovely listeners what you were up to today? So, we need a new vacuum for the flat, and I saw one on Facebook for $20. Such a bargain. And I was like, "What what can go wrong? So I said, is this still available? A couple of pages later. <laughs> this lady had a lot to say, not me. I just said, cool, what time? <laughs> she said, oh, like, tell me all about her day. What else? Um, it, when you arrived, you had to knock quietly and not like a policeman, which is <laughs> always a good sign. of a thousand pieces of instructions and for me to be a nice person. She'd had recently had a bad, a bad sale online with someone who was... Very eager to get their belongings and to quickly take it out of town. And she was not happy about that. Yeah, she said she'd take a couple of minutes to answer the door, so I had to wait. But actually, when I went there, she, she came out. But uh, Anyway, she's just how I imagined. Mary waited in the car. No, no like, way in heck would she get me going into this person's house. 
Even though I asked me, I was like, Mary, please come with me. She begged. She begged and begged. <laughs> and I was like, nope. I'll sit in the car, and if you're not back in ten minutes, I'm calling the police. But I'm not going in on this. I was eight minutes, luckily. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was so worried. I was counting down the time. <laughs> and um, so I went in there. It was pretty much too ex- as expected. First, she greeted me in a in a sort of a niche sort of outfit. You can mm. see everything underneath. And then she said, oh, you are such a beautiful girl. You are quite a beautiful girl. If I saw you in the street, I'd be like, oh, beautiful girl. Oh, thank you, Mary. You're, <laughs> yeah. beautiful. You're a beautiful girl, too. Thanks, I mean, girl. I'd, I'd take second eyes on you. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> um, Peggy's also beautiful. Mm, but beautiful. she's like that type of beautiful that's perfection. <laughs> yeah. So she said you're beautiful. Then what happened? Mm. I pet her cat. She told me not to pet her cat. <laughs> um... Because she wanted to show me a trick. Okay. So she invited me in by this point. So you're inside the house with this lady and her cat, and they're about to show you a trick. Yeah, and she started doing something weird with the cat. And then I was like, oh, yeah. yeah." I was like, it's all right. You don't need to show me. And she kept trying and trying and trying. And each time she tried, she would just get so frustrated at this cat. And she'd swear at it. What did she say? She's like, you are a fucking bitch you always do this to me <laughs> you show me up oh, every no. time i have a visit oh no <laughs> poor cat but you said the cat was in good spirits the cat wasn't the cat wasn't disturbed by the uh, verbal abuse no it wasn't disturbed it was quite i looked quite looked after except uh I was pretty yeah. shit at doing tricks <laughs> So yeah, and then I tried to leave as quickly as I could. She kept talking to me out the door, and she even talked to me along the path. <laughs> Just ran off. On the way back to the car. And I was like, yeah, thanks, bye. And she's like, look me up on YouTube. <laughs> Zara, you always have these interactions with people which just don't even seem real. <laughs> oh, wait, what did she say to you as you were leaving? What was her last line to you? Look me up on you. Oh, what was it? About the vacuum cleaner's name. Oh, she said, okay, the vacuum cleaner has a name, Bumblebee, and I'd appreciate it if you kept it. <laughs> <laughs> and what did she say about the vacuum cleaner, um, the suction on the vacuum cleaner? She said, happy sucking. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Hey guys, so it's time for our book reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about Spell on Wheels by Kate Lee, Megan Levins and Marissa Louise. Um, It is a graphic novel which I ordered from the internet and which I really, really enjoyed. Um, Cool, tell me about it. That sounds like the perfect title for a book. So it's about these three witches who live together. The first one is um, Claire. She is, like, psychic, and she's got cute bangs, and she's um, just a cute girl. And then there's Jolene, who's, like, really goth and got tattoos and is a technopath, so she can, like, talk to computers through magic. And Whoa. pretty good. And the last one is Andy, who's good at potions and spellcrafting and who's really cute and kind of, like, quite normal compared to the other two, but, like, really... She's 23 and the others are 26 and 27. So she's like the baby of the group. And Do they all live together? They do. They live in this um, really cute apartment together. And they work together. They go around to like different things and do like different magic for people. But the story starts with their house getting broken into. And they can all feel the senses of like someone breaking into their house. And they rush home quickly to try to catch them. But they just miss them. And then, like, lots of their really special items from their house have been stolen. And so the story is like a road trip of them going around the country finding all their items again. Oh, who stole them? That's a spoiler. Uh, I want to read it. (laughs) Um, I really liked it because it's quite, like, inclusive. Um, And there's a... Jolene is queer. And you see... Yes, that's what I want... That's what I wish and want for every human. <laughs> yeah, me too, girl. And um, you, she makes out with a girl, and she has a fun time, and the girls are all really supportive of each other, and they have a lot of fun, and they're just like good family. It actually looks like the perfect book. Um, it looks like me on the front cover. It does. Claire has a striking resemblance to Zara. I think it's the cute bangs. 
She's got cute bangs. She's kind of gingery, like a strawberry blonde, where Azara is more of a traditional blonde. <laughs> So now Zara's going to tell us about the book she's reviewing. Go, Zara! Brave is the title of the book with by Rose McGrone. Do you remember her from Charmed? She was so cute on Charmed. She was. She was Paige on Charmed. And I remember having a crush on her in Charmed. Anyway, I haven't seen her for a few years. She's been doing her thing. And she just came out with a biography all of a sudden, which is one of number one bestsellers at the moment, top feminist books. Yay, that's so exciting. Um, what does the book talk about? Um, the book talks about her life and her... Piggy, <laughs> calm down. Sorry, Piggy continue. was just jumping on the papers. She's so cute. Oh, I love her. She's pretty good. Anyway, the um, her trouble in Hollywood and... Having a bad time with Harvey Weinstein, who she calls in the book the monster. He is, I think, pretty much 100% a monster. Yeah, and he originally hushed her by giving her $100,000 back in the 2000s, Mm. I think. Mm. Maybe 2000? (laughs) And now she's come back to fight. Yeah, I'm really proud of her. I think it's really good that she's got a platform to talk about this awful, awful monster. She does. She's just such an inspiration. And when I read the book, I am so happy. And I love I love a good biography, you know, start to finish. And the finish is always some empowered lady. Yeah, and did she shave her head? She did. She shaved her head. That's her signature look now. Cool, go <laughs> her. Yeah, and she's a director as well now. Perfect. What a good girl. Yeah, and she sticks up for feminist rights whenever she can. Um, what's your favourite story from the book? Um, it's quite interesting because she was born in a cult and she, Ooh. yeah, children of God. Oh, gosh. And she only knew, she, in, in Italy, and she only knew Italian for the first like eight years of her life before moving to America. Wow, that's such an interesting history. Man, she's such a like interesting character. I'm going to have to read this book. Oh, please read it, Mary. It put the book on hold, I recommend, because actually it's due today. It's in the car. <laughs> You're going to get library fines, girl. I'll drop it on the way home. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> <laughs> that was our book reviews. Beep. Beep, boop, 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 beep, beep. Where's off? Beep. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop, boop. Introducing this week's mystery smell, tested on Mary. All right, Mary, close your eyes. I don't know if I consented to this game, but I am closing my eyes. Okay. And do a big sniff. One, two, three. (laughs) 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 Oh, 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 God. (laughs) Okay, open. Wait, wait. First, what do you think of it? Tomato sauce. (laughs) And I squeeze the bottle so I'm like, woof. It was like a big fermented glob of like tomatoey sauce. Thank you. Hello, guess what time it is? Star science time. Take it away, girl. Capricorn, you are blessed. A pug will sneeze on you. At queries, beware a broken vacuum. It may force you into an unwanted friendship. Pisces. Pisces uprising will bring you confidence, not only within yourself, but in the way you eat fries. Hello, Aries. It's okay to cheat, only when it's in good humour. Taurus, can we have chicken tonight, tomorrow? Hello, Gemini. (laughs) Read some books, you know the ones. Hey, Cancer. Miss Vangie. Leo! Hello, Leo. When choosing between Wellington and Invercargill, always choose Wellington. Virgo! Give someone the time of day and tell them, even if they don't ask. Libra! The stars have aligned, but you, but it won't do you much good, cake sniffer. Hey, Scorpio. You will achieve your dreams because you are beautiful. And Sag Vag is out there like me. Cash me out, so how about that? There we go. That was Star Signs. Thank you for listening to our podcast episode five. Like and subscribe. Love you. <laughs> Meow. Where's the off button? How do I turn this thing off? <laughs>